Victoria Sophia, and I don't think any other interview will stack up to this one because we are talking about National Pancake Day. Victoria is a former judge for America's Best Peanut Butter Sandwich and recipe creator for Betty Crocker and cooking expert for Pillsbury. I have a lot of experience in the kitchen, I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> but, yeah. I think everyone watching is going to flip over this segment, though, because whether you call them pancakes, hotcakes, or flapjacks, over 1 billion of them will be eaten this year, and it's National Pancake Day. So, you know, I'm here to tell you some fun facts and also give you some ideas in case you're having some mistakes in the kitchen and you might need some help. I need, give me all the tips because I can't cook worth anything. So give me all the tips. <laughs> okay, well, this is actually the oldest breakfast food. It's, you know, dates back a very long time, but we tend to eat it for breakfast or for dinner any time of day. Um, there are a lot of quick fixes. So if you ever find your batter, if it's too thick, you want to add more milk and whisk away. If you find it too thin, add a tablespoon of flour at a time to make it a little bit thicker for your batter. And a lot of people find that their first pancake that they ever make, you know, from the whole batch is not the best pancake, but the best way for you to change that is to make sure that your pan heats up. Um, so that way it's actually at the right temperature. And once it is, then you can start pouring the batter because it tends to be that is the issue to make your first pancake just like the rest of them. Well, also I found that in a lot of the research, the most popular pancake topic is actually maple syrup followed by maple syrup and chocolate chips. So I see that a lot of people are sticking to the basic traditional way of having pancakes and their topics, their toppings that are their favorite are also following that as well. So I think a lot of people toss a pancake when they're making them and some people just turn them over with a spatula because they're worried about, you know, making them fall on the floor. But there is actually a guy who has the record, the Guinness Book of World Records for the highest pancake toss. It went 31 feet in the air. So oh I don't know really about whether his pancake was going to fall 31 feet in the air, which is amazing for me because I am one of those people that flip it with a spatula. <laughs> but the world record, like that's, yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. For pancake, I think yeah. that's perfect too. And the final fact that I want to share with everyone is that we usually eat between two and four pancakes in a sitting. So if you ever wonder like what is the amount that people have or if somebody's not eating as many as you think they should, two to four is usually what everybody eats every time they have pancakes. So you're probably around the same amount every single time. Yeah, that's probably me. When I go to IHOP, I'm always the three, three stacks and I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your favorite topping? What do you add to it? Well, I'm usually, so for a while I've been just the real, I'm just, I'm just such a picky eater. I've always just been plain, just add just the normal butter and syrup and everything. Well, you just spoke about butter. So I just wanted to mention that for a lot of people, if they ever have pancake problems, don't butter the pan because sometimes the reason it's not working out for you with your batch of pancakes is because butter burns fast. So if you use a non-stick pan or you use some vegetable oil, it'll actually help you make your pancakes perfect. Let the pan heat properly. Don't use butter in the pan and only flip the pancake once. So whether you use a spatula or you just flip it yourself, make sure you only do it once to make sure that they're the right way.